Okay, what we have here is a video showing you how to make some nice little modifications to the Hasbro BB-8 droid that is exclusively at Target. Uh, not a bad little machine, has a couple of issues, not the least of which is the price, but uh, it needs a couple of little features, mostly lights. That's what we're doing here. I'm going to add some lights to it. Uh, don't really think this needs to be said, but what I'm going to do is going to void the warranty, so just be aware of that. The simplest way to add lights to it is first in little BB-8's head. Uh, this is a simple one. There are just three Phillips head screws that hold his head on. Uh, once you've taken them out, they don't really need to be there to hold them together. So... But because of what I do, my moderately sloppy way of doing this, I didn't put them back in. So, taking the screws, pop his little head off. I, what I have here is a magnet holding the battery in. And a simple uh, little fake candle from a dollar store. It has the cover on it. Once you remove the cover, the switch stops working. I could probably do this in a better way, but this was kind of a quick and dirty thing. So the switch doesn't work, so it's all super glued together, and what I have to do each time is just take the battery out. But, it's not that difficult to put the battery back in, and voila, we have light. Put the little battery cover back on. So, uh, one of the reasons I like this is as it simulates being a candle, it sort of flickers and stuff. Which, when you slap his head back together, gives a nice little sort of blinking effect. So that just stays there. Yay! Okay. There. Now the big one is adding LED lights to the BB-8 itself. And instead of wanting to open that up every time and turn stuff on, uh, I needed to find a way to add lights to it that ran off the internal battery power but would actually shut off when BB-8 shut off so it doesn't kill, completely kill the batteries. I checked a couple little spots. By no means am I perfectly finding that. But to show you a little bit of what our BB-8 is built and why I chose where I put the lights... Uh, the BB-8 itself is easy enough to take apart. There are four little Phillips screws that hold him together. Then, on, nope, waking up, wakes up easy. On each side of him, you pinch this side and this side with the sticker, which has been torn apart, avoiding the warranty. And just the top of his body comes apart. Uh, normally, there's nothing connected to it except what I have here. Uh, speaker comes out kind of easy, but it's all part of the bottom and then the main motherboard for it and then the two drive motors for the wheels. And that's about it. And then, of course, the holders for the battery. Now, what I've added here is, in fact, a little LED lamp from a podium that would shine light up through one of those little crystal box with the laser etched characters inside and uh, all that. So there are three LEDs here and they'll shine different lights. Uh, my maniac of a hot gluing to keep him steady there. I you have to be a little bit careful when doing that because these two little bits right here on either side are the uh, receivers for the infrared transmitter that you have here. So, I was kind of sloppy, partially covered that one up. This one's fine. I'll have to, I cut away with a little bit of glue. It still works, so that's fine. Uh, the only good spot I found after testing a few little bits and pieces to add the connections for the LEDs to a place where when the power goes off, the LEDs will stay off is actually the motors themselves and 
you can run the connections. These, this yellow and white one goes to the motor on this side. This green and white one goes to the motor on this side. Uh, just happened to choose this one. And then I've soldered my lines into it. The green is the positive one. The white is the negative lead. And then everything's all up in here. I had to drill a small hole in the top of the BB-8 to get it a place to run my wires through. Uh, now, what that does for us, and I'll put them back together and show how that works. Okay, so if you've got your wiring all up, soldered, connections to one of the drive wheels, and then ease. Will hopefully go back together for us. Uh, this motherboard needs to be has little pegs to hold him down. I bumped it off there. Take our little friend and slide him down, and we'll eventually get him. Uh -oh. Wiring. Hold on just a moment. There we go. So, snaps back together. Put your screws back in. Clean this little thingies up. And once he's back together, he will. The lights will come on. The lights will come on when you, you know, activate the wheels in any way. Now, now by soldering him to a drive wheel, the way he drives, it sends power to a wheel like he goes forward. But to make him go backward, it reverses, the, it reverses the polarity of it, and to send the wheel back going the other way. So the lights only work since I've got it attached to one wheel. They tend to only work when he's going in one direction. And if I send him the other direction, the lights, the lights light up. Uh, now, what I'm probably going to do is... Uh, is add a second light to the other wheel to get it to go... to give him lights in, when he goes in both directions. But, he does go back together. And then we put his body back together. Give him a little twist. Slap his head back on. Uh, just out of an easy way to get his head to go. Everybody says they have to search for it. If you just take and make him go sideways for a moment, I mean, just spin his body for a moment, it moves the head up to there, and boom, there's his head. Not hard to find. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is just load the lights for a moment, give you a little light show. Too bad, a little mod for him. Like I said, if like I said, the putting in an extra LED where his other drive wheel goes will give him lights going, you know, no matter which direction he goes. 
and those are simple mods. So the one inside his body, when he does turn off, the lights themselves will turn off and not drain power. The one in his head, I have to keep popping his head open and doing something about that. A nice little modification. Probably, you know, turning one of his things into a button and wiring it up and being able to turn it on and off from the outside would be pretty good. Uh, he wobbles a bit, but... Not too bad, a little light show. Makes him a little more interesting. I do enjoy using him, but... Uh, okay, thank you very much.